So, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, well, I'm here today to talk about some uh, appreciated event uh, landscape and industry, some of the very restrictive solutions which we as DPL are planning to launch very soon. Uh, just an overview of APM, so many of the companies are going to be aware of APM. Uh, we mean in uh, this business of security authentication and payments and also the part manufacturing from 1998. Uh, what we have today is we have uh, grown our uh, business and regions uh, around the world in terms of acquiring, uh, that is the cross manufacturing side. And we are also into the part manufacturing side, that's where uh, the issuance comes into picture. And then we also have the security part where we have the field security and political authentication products and solutions. So recently we have been, uh, you know, global company, uh, which is a very stock listed company, and we have having a presence in uh, more than 32 countries as, uh, you know, presence locally, as well as we have uh, more than 80 countries where our customer base are. So, when we talk about the disruptive landscape, uh, disruptive products for the land payment landscape or payment industry, one of the products which we are launching, uh, especially with Seamless Dubai here, is uh, FPay, which is uh, our SOC box. Now, there has been a lot of discussion on SOC box. A lot of companies already have their own SOC box. Um, as we all know, that SOC box have been on CPOC and SPOC. You know, and, uh, as for the new norms uh, from the November 2022, uh, as for the PCI norms, there has to be an FPOC specs which are required. And that is exactly where Fabian is planning to launch uh, their own softbox. Uh, with the MPOC, uh, there has been a lot of uh, new requirements on the security part, and uh, security is a major concern when it comes to uh, a softbox because you are actually converting your smartphone into a payment acceptance device. And payment is something where security is very, very important. Uh, what we have been doing is um, just an overview of uh, the softwares. Yeah. So we all know that, especially for the softwares, a lot of uh, country regulations are looking at, uh, you know, encouraging digital, uh, you know, economy and digital currencies. Uh, they want to eradicate the, the cash as much as possible, the physical cash from the market. Uh, with this digitalization and, uh, and the regulatory bodies and acquirers trying to get into or engage into a new form of uh, technology for accepting payments. So, what we are also seeing is we see many factories going into dynamic tours, that if you are people are going down into the soft walls, where people who are looking at fintech organizations with their tools with wallets and uh, you know, close loop the systems of different payment channels and payment schemes. Uh, with this kind of soft walls, we see that because the technology has enhanced in terms of Android smartphones, you know, smartphones penetration is increasing day by day and new well-weighted services are coming up. But what happens to the payments? You know, not every merchant is, uh, you know, position to invest a uh, you know, huge cost for acquiring the cost of the middle and then also paying on the transaction and VRs and everything. So what we have seen is that there are a lot of small, small merchants which still rely on the cash economy. We want to try target all those kind of uh, smaller merchants where for them the minimum transaction or uh, average transaction value is less than five dollars or less than ten dollars so they are the guys who are always looking at uh, some innovation to accept different form of payments within the softwares uh, so of course there is a big opportunity in softwares around the world and uh, as you know being competitive is very important and that's why we decided to launch the soft cost on the airport, which is the first one, one of the first. We look at the market size today, uh, as per the research and market suggests that there is an opportunity of 3.9 billion transactions revenue from uh, 2028. So we see that there is uh, an immense opportunity when it comes to the usage of soft cost and uh, the different applications uh, and the use cases where soft cost and contactless payments will be moving forward. Now, here it is what Fabian is planning to offer. We have seen that most of the soft cost companies are only looking at focusing on a soft cost payment application or a soft cost SPK, which is on CPOP or SPOP. But look, there are a lot of other things and an ecosystem related to a soft cost, which is a secure payment uh, you know, solution. 
that is where Fabian is looking at focusing. What Fabian is trying to bring today is a whole ecosystem of uh, you know, content testing. So try to look at the attestation and monitoring. That's where we have a partnership with Bill 38, which is one of the only companies in the world when it comes to security and especially the payment security part. So that is where we have already worked with them. And then we have the entire merchant onboarding and we have the transaction switch. So it means that this is a very unique uh, point. You know, there are many countries where there are different processors, there are different schemas on different processors, and then you want big based routing on of different parts, different issuers from the same soft cost. It means that you are trying to integrate multiple payment switches or payment processors on a centralized middle there that's a transaction switch. And the same transaction switch is already integrated to the soft cost. So you have one integration but with multiple processors where you can even do LCR on our cards, which is the future. And you see different processors, different acquirers supporting different schemas and getting different MDRs. So you create multiple suite, multiple acquirers, multiple pin, pin based routing on the same software with multiple switches. That is exactly what this middleware comes into each other. So you have the transaction switch, you have the merchant onboarding, you have the attestation in the monitoring, and which is more about giving them the soft process with the with the soft post application, which is again white label. So if someone has their own existing LP application, want to convert and use uh, as a soft post, we give it soft post as a game. Or if someone wants to us to build an application on their own white label for the LP. Uh, you know, certification with the integration, we also do that. That is the kind of ecosystem which Indian is planning to provide. So, if you look at the simple architecture, just making it very simple. So, we have the uh, soft cost, we expect the SDK and the application or APK comes in, which already has the payment kernel and the security functions. And then we have the same application integrated to the transaction host backend as well as administration and monitoring. And the, the entire application then goes through the LP acquirer integration for the uh, payment schema certification, whether it's Visa, uh, PayWay, PayPass, or MX, or any kind of schemas, whichever content based payment is required. So, as of now, you know that any Android smartphone can be converted into a, a soft cost medium. Uh, what we have also seen is what is there in the transaction backend of APM. So, you have merchant onboarding, you have transaction processing, and you have the key management. The key management is also integrated with attestation and monitoring because this is where, uh, you know, what differentiates VPN from other softwares is that you have a live runtime monitoring of security and analytics. You need to know when you have an application running on an open smartphone, how secure it is, whether it will be able to accept the payment securely, whether it is hacked, whether it has viruses, whether it has, uh, you know, been tampered or hampered with. Yes, we have a live system which does that. And that's where the unique part of APN software comes in. So, when we talk about the security, which is, again, when, you talk, when we talk about payments, it is the security. So, that's where the security comes. So, you integrate the, you know, FP uh, with an SDK inside if you have your own app or probably use our own app where we can provide you a white label application of the software. Uh, then it goes to a uh, proactive protection in integrated with the apps. During the first app start, active start, admin, you know, rebooting, every time it keeps on checking on real time in terms of the security, malware, alerts, and everything on the back end using the build for the And then we have uh, the online security analysis, which is also in the app as well as on the back end. In fact, we have a whole back end portal which actually shows you. Uh, you know, the active devices, the registered devices, how many of them are having security alerts or malware alerts or virus alerts, how many have been blocked, what is uh, the analysis of the security of the payment application specifically when it is being used for the payment uh, use cases. So, this is again a very unique part which Fabian brings in. Uh, of course, you have been on glass, impaired, and you have the stack codes, runtime, you have crypto, uh, cryptography, storage, emoting, registration, and publication. So this is a basic model overview at the back end. Now again, with our back end, which we talk about the transaction switch, the most important part is you can see a real-time merchant performance and transaction. These are all the screenshots from our existing solutions. So this is again very, very unique because with the back end today you have the power of integrating with multiple uh, you know acquirers rather than being dependent on one acquirer. And, and you know, software is something that people can just download from the Google Play Store, just get a registration done, 
and start accepting payments once every register. So that is the power of uh, you know contactless payments. What uh, what this solution can bring now. Another disruptive product uh, is uh, our F two hundred. So apart from uh, you know the softwares which we intend to penetrate the small end merchants where the point of sale terminal is never the market for them. And the second part is we are also launching the unattended terminal, which is uh, you know right over there in the uh, state. Uh, this is going to be a, a very unique Android terminal again uh, because it has all the functions. Uh, it is starting with Android 11 and can be upgraded in future to Android 13, Android 14 anytime. It has all the certifications which are required for the unattended, and then uh, it is uh, of course 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, all of the features which a normal unattended terminal requires. So it is a five-inch display, and uh, by default it comes with two plus sixteen uh, with a two megapixel, uh, you know, front uh, focus camera. So it can scan the QR as well as the button. And then uh, very unique is that IP56, IP08, and APEX, all these certifications are in the process. It means it is for outdoor, indoor, vending, all the things already present along with Android 11 and being we'll able to upgrade in future to Android 14 or Android 14. And uh, this has got all the connectivities which are very, very important. What do we there in here? So when we talk about the payment certification, as I said, it's always going to be PCI 6 and we tell one Apple, we will be pass MX, Expressway, whatever basic requirements are there. But very important is uh, we will also be working on the FCC, especially for the American, North American market, as well as, uh, you know, PDRTC, especially for the premium and certification of supporting in uh, North America. And then uh, these are the various, uh, you know, overview in terms of the how the acceptance uh, is there. It's contactless on the glass, on the top itself. And uh, then we have different use cases. One of the biggest use cases which we are seeing right now has been the electronic EV cars, you know, the charging stations. I think so that is something which we are actually focusing a lot. There is a lot of requirements of unattended terminals, especially on the charging stations. And we have also seen that gas stations is there. The vending is there, but the biggest market which we see in any country moving forward is especially the countries which are encouraging the electric cars. I think so once the electric cars comes in, you have the electric charging stations, how are you going to charge the customer? That's exactly where this particular unattended terminal comes from. So these are all the products which we are uh, you know launching today and uh, you know seeing see this has been a good medium for us always as usual. So I always welcome all of you to come and uh, see a live demo of this of course whenever you want. And uh, we have the whole backend and the entire system ready. It means that from the next month we can partner with anyone who wants the L3 certification done. We are ready with that. Uh, once the L3 is already integrated, the official certification for any one to launch a softwares on MPOC is only October. But before that, whatever requirements are required in terms of integrations, connectivity, testing, uh, you know, the black box, whatever, we will all be ready. So that is exactly what we are, and everyone is welcome to visit us at home. Thank you.